I am Stefan Kolimachkov, a PhD student at the National Sports Academy. In this video, I will be talking about nutrition and its vital consequences for our health, as well as the importance of assessing nutrition in children and adolescents in connection to my PhD research. In order to survive, the human organism needs to take oxygen, water and food. Food has been studied extensively because of its importance for our survival, health and well-being. In 1827, a British physician named William Prout was the first to formally recognize the three macronutrients – proteins, fats and carbohydrates, which we need in our diet. Proteins are essential nutrients for our bodies as well as the main building blocks of body tissue. In fact, 80% of dry weight muscle is made of protein. Many proteins function as enzymes, while others serve as antibodies, hormones and contractile elements in muscle fiber cells. Proteins can also be used as a source of fuel, containing 4 kilocalories per gram. During the process of digestion, Proteins are broken down into their building blocks, amino acids. There are 20 types of amino acids, 9 of which are essential, which means that our body cannot produce them and we are relying on getting these from our food. I should note here that in young children the amino acids arginine and histidine can be essential as well. Carbohydrates consist of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and come as combinations of sugar units which are normally grouped as simple or complex carbohydrates. During the process of digestion, polysaccharides and disaccharides are broken down into the monosaccharides glucose, fructose and galactose. Glucose actually represents around 80% of the monosaccharides and therefore the story of carbohydrate metabolism is really the story of glucose metabolism. Each gram of carbohydrate produces about 4 kilocalories as proteins. However, glucose is the body's preferred source of energy. Fats play an important role in our bodies and can be used as fuel or building blocks to form essential structures, with each gram of fat producing about 9 kilocalories. Although the energy which comes from fats is more than twice that of carbohydrates, fats are the body's second favorite source of energy because they are more difficult to catabolize. A well-balanced diet plays an essential role for improving health and well-being. It also has an impact on the quality of our lives as well as our life expectancy. Children and adolescents need adequate energy intake to ensure proper growth, development and maturation. Nutrient needs are higher during adolescence than at any other time in the life cycle. While proper nutrition is important for everyone, it is of particular concern for children and adolescents who compete in sports. Diet affects performance and the foods that children consume before training and competition will affect how well they train and compete. A good diet will help support consistent, intensive training while reducing the risk of illness or injury. And good food choices will also promote adaptations in muscle tissues in response to the training. In order to define the dietary habits and nutritional status, researchers are applying a nutritional assessment which might be used at national, household or individual level. Nutritional assessment is the information obtained from dietary, biochemical, anthropometric and clinical studies. When assessing individuals, information may be collected by self-report data obtained by food frequency questionnaires or interviews or by use of food records. Data may be collected by observation methods or by reports from relatives and family members close to the subject of the study which is often the case in children. Food frequency questionnaires provide information on food consumption patterns during a longer, 
less precisely defined time period. Such methods are most appropriate for measuring the average consumption of foods and estimation of nutrient intakes on both an individual and a group basis. For school-age children and adolescents, there is no consensus as to which data assessment method is most accurate. The choice of which instrument to use may depend on the objectives and design of the study. For my studies, including my ongoing PhD research, I have been applying a food frequency questionnaire. Originally, this questionnaire was created at the National Sports Academy in Sofia and used for adult athletes, but was then adapted for our purposes in order to assess the nutrient intake of children and subsequently applied in our studies.